how do you go about uh, building this type of tool that's involved in, I mean, a, it's, a, it's a very complex thing, organizational culture, human temperament, human personality, uh, psychology, all of these complex things that happens within every individual, and then put these individuals together who are there to do uh, tasks to, for a single goal, and try to have them work together. So my two-part question is, how do you go about building this uh, and sort of, uh, sort of, uh, uh, make something concrete out of these insights you have? And then secondly, how do you know it's working? Mm -hmm. So first of all, it's very, very important to know the company that you're working with. You can uh, understand what's happening in the company when you go uh, in, in Armenia, as you know, in, in Armenia, it's very easy to find someone inside the company that is, you know, very close to you. And you can get information from there, like what's happening there. And it's very important that Lucky Fair does not enter uh, a company that where there is like a you know bad culture or let's say toxic, you know, toxic culture that can, that HR managers usually call it. Um, but regarding international companies, when you like talk to the HR team members, like you know, you have a big meeting with you know HRs that I don't know, a company that has let's say five HRs. You meet them, you meet with the senior management, kind of get the idea of what's happening inside. You learn about their processes, we'll learn about if they have like input engagement as the senior management's KPI, or if they know what employee engagement is, or if they, you might not even know the term, it doesn't necessarily mean that, but maybe you have done something towards it, right? You get the idea of the, you know, um, intelligence regarding employee engagement at that company. And then, um, it's very important to enter like with like a carrot uh, into a company with a very very you know strong and right foundation because we do trainings of employees how to use like a carrot in the right way right uh, not just you know sending a carrot on the platform to you and saying hey thank you for for your help I mean it's it's not enough it's absolutely yeah. not enough and because like a carrot there is input and output meaning employees input the data so that. You know, there is a good output for the HR managers and senior management for good data. So there needs to be, there must be a good usage of the platform for which we do the training. And then when we like close the deal with the company, it's not, you know, it's not the end. We have a dedicated account management team that works with them, you know, collects feedback from them, has maybe calls with the HR managers once in two months or once in a month. It depends on the company size and some other specificities. And then you learn what's happening there. You get track of the, you know, the quality usage inside, the, the usage quality inside that company, right? So um, regarding the KPIs, let's say, and whether we know it works, um, is since we have like a team that uh, connects with the HR managers to get feedback from them, of course, you can get two types of feedback, you know, quantitative and qualitative. Uh, when we start working with the company for the quantitative feedback to get from there, uh, we have an engagement survey inside Lucky Care that exactly not only measures engagement at your company, exactly with, you know, with a score, but it also measures the composites of engagement, what we call key metrics inside a platform. In simpler words, for your employee to be or stay engaged at your company, which means if the employee is engaged, will stay with, will stay with you longer and will drive profitability of your company and lots of other business outcomes for you that will be very um, advantageous as a company. It is the uh, relationship with peers, relationship with the managers. It is about ambassadorship, how proud the employee is to be part of your company. It is about feedback. It, is the company open to receive feedback from employees? It's about uh, alignment. Is the, comp is the employee uh, aligned with your company vision, mission, or values? And we have like 10 key metrics that we measure at the company. And we and this is like the baseline. When we work with the company, we do this survey to understand where the company is right now, for it to be clear for the company and for us. And then after using Lucky Carrot, what changes there are, right? In the baseline, you understand as a company what your top uh, strongest metrics are of employee engagement. What your two weakest metrics on employee of employee engagement? You start working with like a carrot, and then you get feedback after, let's say, two months or three months. It's different. It's very individual with companies to understand it has uh, your weakness improved or not. You as an HR manager, what have you done for it? Because like a carrot shows you your parts that you need to improve and your strong parts.